Wow, I need a haircut. All right, guys, this is the 10K special. I wanna thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm gonna answer some of your questions and hopefully at the end tell you about some future projects, maybe tease some things upcoming. So firstly, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. You, you don't know how much it means to me. I started this fail tech brand a couple of years ago and I wanted to reach a bunch of subscriber goals, but I didn't realize how fast I'd hit 10K and the incredible growth that we've reached over the past couple of days has been mental. I just wanted to say thank you so much to any new subscribers who have clicked that button. And we're almost at 11K, which is mad. So with that out of the way, I want to do a Q&A. This might be a bit of a longer video, but I want to answer as many questions as I possibly can and go into a little bit of detail so that everyone gets a fair response, if that makes sense. Also, I'm not going to say your name. I will put it in the video in the screenshot thing, but I won't say it because I don't want to offend anyone. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing foreign names, which most of you are foreign to me. So yeah. What phone do you think you're doing next? If I could ask to do the G5, then please do it. Uh, yeah, okay, paraphrasing and kind of messing that up a little bit. The phone I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to be actually dropping the essential phone video. I'm going to work on it this weekend. I've already worked on it a little bit. I'm going to drop it on Monday since the essential phone is back in the media, so it's kind of more relevant. And the G5, I'd love to get my hands on a G5. At the moment, money is tight since I've just bought a new computer and I will delve into that. I think someone else asked that kind of question. I'd love to do the Note series of phones. That's something I really want to do this year. So the Note all the way up to the Note 6, or sorry, rather Note 5. I've already done the Note 8, I just haven't released it yet. And the G5, my thoughts on it, though it's a pretty solid phone my friends ewan's got it it's not one of those crazy boot looping phones although it can boot loop and the specs seem solid for the price you can get them for like 150 pounds now ewan asked the most disappointing phone probably the g6 i was expecting so much out of the g6 and it just didn't hit any of the sweet spots for me so unfortunately i can't recommend that how do i see this channel in a year or two probably at like maybe 50k subs like i want to hit 20k by the end of this year and then just grow it I also, a lot of people said this, I don't think I've got any of them screenshotted, but a lot of people said that once I become, let's say, more famous, like a bigger channel, that uh, not to do loads of new phones, and that's true, I, I still want to do the old stuff, so I will probably do a couple of new phones here and there once I get bigger, but mainly it's budget, you know, this whole channel is based off of budget for students and people who don't have a lot of money, or people who just straight up don't want to spend the money on a brand new phone, that's what I'm about, you know, someone asked my daily driver, I'll get onto that in a second, but mainly we're focused on the budget stuff, so don't worry, you know, I might review an iPhone 10 or I might review a Galaxy Note 8, but it's not going to be the channel is based off that. Look, you can go to any channel and find reviews of that. It's the older stuff in modern times that I focus on. So don't you worry. Also asking, what is the most enjoyable phone I've reviewed? I believe Katie or Creeping Around, my girlfriend uh, on Discord, her name is like Creeping Around, asked what my favorite phone was. So I believe it's kind of the same thing. Probably my favorite phone was probably the Galaxy S7 Edge or the Nexus 6. Galaxy S7 Edge was just such an incredible phone. I mean, I got it. 200 pounds less than I should have so it was already a great phone for me but also there are a bunch of things about it like it had all that water from dust resistance it had incredible build quality just absolutely stunning it had tons of features and a massive battery but a bigger battery than pretty much any smartphone 99% of smartphones even now with larger screens and larger bodies it had a bigger battery which is kind of crazy congrats on 10k cheers bud did anyone inspire you and if yes who why did you start youtube and how did you stay motivated okay so the first question the person who inspires me the most in life and this is going to sound really cheesy or a bit weird but i can explain is linus sebastian of linus tech tips now for some of you might think oh he's just a tech youtuber you know he's not nothing special but the way that he i start i started watching him when he was working at ncix and he had ncix tech, tech tips he was running that and then he started his other channel and he kind of split it and stuff. The fact that he went worked at the equivalent of like a PC world in the UK or like, you know, obviously it's NCIX and turned making those kinds of videos into the massive production company that is Linus Media Group right now is something and his work ethic and his determination and his willingness to, you know, not let go of anything and just to carry on working is one that I, a, absolutely inspires me. Even if I work as 10% as, as much as he does, I feel like I'm going to be a successful person in life. He's just an absolute inspiration to me and love him. Why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube back when I was maybe seven or eight years old. 
uh, posting like stop motion animations of Lego. So I love that kind of thing. It's what kind of got me into YouTube and filmography and everything in general to do with that. So it's a long time ago now, like 10 years ago. How did I stay motivated? With Veiltech, it was my main, you know, I've had channels in the past. This channel actually used to be a graphics channel. I'll get into that a bit later. The, the reason that I got motivated to stay or stay motivated with Veiltech is plainly because I realized what it took to grow a channel. And a lot of people will give up in their first year, maybe even their, their second year. Uh, but what I realized is that I really wanted this and I still really want this. I want to be able to keep providing and keep making these amazing videos, you know, hopefully improve the quality, not with a camera because I believe the camera is just a tool, but actually getting better at filmography or rather cinematography, editing, production, writing, presenting, and I'd love to one day, and this is something that I thought about just a while ago, just like travel the world reviewing stuff in really cool places. So maybe the phone is a standard, you know, Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy Note 4. So you guys, you know, it will caters to you, but have a backdrop of like Italy or, or France or, or anything like that. That would be absolutely incredible. And I'd love to be able to do that. What do you or did you study at university? This also ties in with how old am I? I'm 18, going to be 19 in April. That's actually why I wanted to get to 10K by April as like a little birthday celebration, which is sick. You know, we might even get to 12K by then, 11 and a half, 12K. Uh, I'm studying, I'm at Open University. I, st I wanted to go to university. I went, uh, if you guys don't know, and it's it might sound weird considering I produce videos, I have like really, really bad anxiety and a bunch of... Uh, of, you know, problems related to that. So, you know, getting panic attacks and stuff in public. Obviously a university campus and a university town is quite a, uh, it was in a city, it was quite a, a busy place. I just couldn't get on with it. You know, I had panic attacks, it was horrible. So I'm actually at Open University, which is like you study mostly at home uh, and I'm doing networking. It's, uh, and, and computing. As you guys know, I've been a system builder for 10 years, which is something not a lot of 18 year olds can say. And uh, no, absolutely, I, I'm really enjoying that at the moment and I want to, qualify to be like a network technician or network administrator that would just be sick but i'm in my first year like my second week technically how much money do you spend on this channel per month salah i believe has asked like three or four questions at this stage i spend a decent amount yet last year i didn't spend a lot if you guys don't know and not a lot of people understand this i've if you look at my channel you can see that i've posted two maybe three videos of a single phone and that's not because i'm you know re you know rehashing it I have access to those phones, or maybe not that exact phone. So if it's an S6, it could be my friend Harry's S6, could be a standard S6, someone else's S6, something like that. I can reuse it and, and change my thoughts and get an update, but it's a bit awkward to refilm the B-roll. Some of the videos, don't get me wrong, do have re uh, like different B-roll, but it's kind of difficult to do that because, you know, because once I've reached out to one friend that I got to reach out to, it's just kind of a process. Last year, I didn't spend pretty much any money on phones because I had done the phones previous and I had a lot of people lend me phones last year and this year the same. So I spend anywhere between 500 and a grand on phones per year. It's not an, you know, I don't make a profit. I actually take a bit of a loss, but I do sell my own personal belongings and stuff to kind of go along with that so yeah also that ties into is this your main your main income uh, and you can kind of guess on social blade i make about and most creators make between one dollar and two and a half dollars two dollars fifty per thousand views and i fall into the lower part of that category so about a dollar per thousand views and you guys know how many views I, I make that's public that's available on social blade opinions on the new snapchat update and poor quality snapchat dude if you haven't seen my video i've done a snapchat video i might do a, a rehashed or better version of that video, maybe a little bit differently uh, going into the future. For me, I didn't realize how unimportant Snapchat was to me until the other day. You know, we use Instagram stories for that kind of thing, or, you know, messenger apps are everywhere. You know, Facebook Messenger, Twitter DMs, WhatsApp, there are just so many and it really doesn't matter to me at the moment. So really Snapchat isn't important. I think the update is annoying and it stopped me using it as frequently. But, you know, it's still, it's just annoying, really. Have I installed a custom ROM on a device other than the Nexus I showed in the video? Yes, I have actually a bunch of phones. I'm going to get them right now. All right, so we have my original Nexus 4, which I'd love to get kind of fixed and stuff. It's got a smashed screen. This has a version of Cyanogen before it came Lineage because I it's not working, so I can't change that. Then we have Viper OS on the Moto Z, which is still not working and boot loops like crazy. Uh, this one I believe has, I'm not sure if it has a custom ROM, but it definitely, I have pushed uh, a ROM via ADB to this one. And then there are a couple of Sonys in there, which I haven't 
changed at all. What do I think of HomePod? Is it that bad? I haven't got a HomePod and I don't really own many Apple devices, so I can't give you a concrete review of that. But what I can say is that the fact that it lacks a jack, like a 3.5 millimeter jack, and you can't use Android on it is a big problem. And I am a, a huge audio video guy. Uh, as someone who doesn't just make videos and uses microphones, but so yeah, who's someone who's really into like hi-fi setups and TV and entertainment setups. I have a set of speakers down there, which I hopefully get video of, which are some of the best speakers I've ever heard in my entire life. They cost £35 because I got them used. They're like 90 speakers, I believe. And if you guys know me personally, it's because it goes back and my dad had a, pet, a set of these speakers and my sister did. It's kind of a big thing and they sound incredible and I can just connect like an Echo Dot or something like that up to them using a Jack or Chromecast Audio and it's going to work just as good. So I don't really see the point of a HomePod, although it's tiny and that's pretty cool. Why don't you do all of the premium phones from a certain year and compare them? I'd love to do that. You know what? I might do that. I might do a series of like the best 2015, the best 2013, best 2014 phones. Good idea. Might do that in the future. Sick one. What phone am I using as my daily? Currently, my friend Morgan's, you know Morgan, he's been in a bunch of this, these videos, and uh, his OnePlus 3, his old OnePlus 3. Then I use KT's old iPhone 5S. Has YouTube ad revenue ever got you enough to buy a new phone? If you check the social blade, I get around 180 to 200,000 views. Uh, at the moment, I'm on 260,000, which is crazy because the mad, the mad gains are technically by that S3 video blowing up. And yeah, like 150, 200 pounds, which is like the average, is you know more than enough to buy a good smartphone, Galaxy S5, LG G4, LG G5, anything like that. So yeah, it has it has definitely given me enough money for that. Although I do actually have to pay for living, so it doesn't really because I've got to take away my gym membership, I've got to take away my mobile phone contract, council tax, everything like that. And in the end, I don't actually have that much left. Why did I start this YouTube channel? I started this YouTube channel as I was a graphic designer. I used to be a pretty good and pretty well known in the small, like sniping clan community graphic designer. I've actually got a portfolio, maybe I'll put a few of my images up, but I was a banner designer and I really enjoyed doing that. And this channel, uh, it's actually called Ozami. If you check it, sometimes it will say it in the URL, it'll say Ozami because my like official handle was Zami. And so that was like the big thing back then. So that's why I started the channel. Ran that for about a year, maybe two years doing graphic design. What's my least favorite part of making videos? Funnily enough, finding and shooting a roll. So finding a spot to shoot a roll and then shooting the a roll, which is what I'm doing right now. And not because, you know, I don't like setting the camera up or it's a bit of a pain to get the tripod out or anything like that. It's purely because this house where I live, especially in Cornwall, if anyone lives in the Southwest, you might understand. There's a lot of mold, a lot of damp that uh, gets accumulated in the house because we live in such a damp place. And it can really affect like the outside, like the walls, the aesthetic of the videos. And also finding some part of my house that isn't completely destroyed kind of makes it a little bit harder to sh find and shoot A-roll than it usually would be. So yeah, I'll definitely say shooting A-roll. What should Sony do to improve their smartphone cameras? I don't really think there's a problem with Sony's cameras per se. I think they probably need to step down the processing just a little bit because they do over sharpen and because of that processing it can crash a lot of camera apps. I think they just need to market their phones better to be more mainstream and yeah I don't think their cameras really have a problem there. Some, some of the best cameras on the market. What is my favourite phone of all time? It's got to be between the Galaxy S7 Edge and the Nexus 6 and then the Moto X second generation. So the Moto X and the Nexus 6 are both made by Motorola and they're like bigger and smaller brothers if that makes sense. And then the S7 Edge is just like a really versatile phone. Can you make a video in depth of why you switch platform from Windows to Mac? I got a lot of hate on that video from people thinking that I, I got paid to uh, or get got given a free Mac to make that video. I wish. No, I... I I've spent a lot of money, uh, still in a bit of debt for that, and the reason I switched is mainly because I've used Macs in the past, I've used PCs, if I try to I'll try and get like a little list of all the computers that I've owned, because uh, I've built all of my PCs apart from the laptops, and with Macs I've got some of the laptops, got some of the desktops, that kind of thing, and mainly it was that the Mac works, and actually I'm a little bit more comfortable on Windows because I know more kind of what I'm doing, but on Mac I'm still quite comfortable. It just works and I haven't had any problems touch wood since then so yeah it was just kind of having a computer that didn't freeze every five seconds. Start a weekly Q&A? 
I'd probably do one every like 5,000, 10,000 subs. I, I'm not that keen on these kind of Q&A videos because it's difficult to find the time to answer all of them and they're hugely long videos. Interested in the work ethic behind this channel. I really want to do this as a job, so I kind of treat it as a job. When I'm not studying and when I'm not with friends or family, then I'm pretty much always making YouTube videos. When did I get into videography and why, Morgan? Pretty much, like I said, the Star Wars animation, but when I got into the actual cinematography part of this kind of thing, it was mainly when I decided that I wanted to film and get a good kind of following on YouTube and kind of do that as a job because I really like it and I'd really love to be able to do that as a hobby, you know, even if I don't do it on YouTube, going and working somewhere as like a cinematographer. I, I kind of got into it back in 2015 when I first made that kind of why you should buy a Nexus 4 in 2015 or something and that translated into all of this. Most consistent mobile phone manufacturer for me probably has to be Samsung. They haven't really had any huge catastrophes apart from the Note 7, but that's one phone mainly. So I kind of, yeah, Samsung's probably the best because Apple have had some pretty boring phones. LG have had a lot of boot loops. Sony are just kind of boring in general. So I think mainly it's gotta be Samsung for me. <sighs> That was an, a long video. I'm so sorry for taking so much of your time. Hopefully I've answered most of your questions. There were a few more that I couldn't quite answer and I tried to bundle a couple of in. And as you can tell, this video is hugely long already, so I don't want to extend it any longer. Again, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. We're almost on 11,000, which is pretty crazy, pretty nuts. And hopefully I can still continue to improve my videos. I'm always trying to learn more editing. I'm always trying to change the lighting, change the composition and make everything a little bit better. And hopefully I can produce better content for everyone in the future again. So please do follow my social medias. It really helps me out. I'll leave them on screen at the end of this video. And please do support me on Patreon if you want. You don't have to. My friend Ross, my good friend Ross, is actually the reason I started that Patreon because he wanted to find a way to support me, so I just started that up. And yeah, subscribe if you're new around here so never miss a video like this one. I probably won't be doing a lot of Q&As. I'll probably just go back to uh, videos uh, starting on Monday, which I want to start the essential phone. So that's pretty sick. Anyway, my name's been Ryan Thomas for Failtech. Hopefully this video has answered a lot of your questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.